sticking with the same guys that are playing? Yes, ma'am. Tristan? Tristan's out, Kevin, uh, G. Hill, and Corver. Okay. You figured out who you're going to start yet? Yeah, Colin, uh, Jetty, Rodney Hood, Larry Nance, and Sam Decker. How about next wave? Any, anybody coming in? Or you want to get as many guys in tonight as you can? Oh, you mean come off the bench? Yeah. Yeah, JR, um, Big Z, um, Isaiah Taylor. So we got yeah, a lot of guys going to play tonight, so we'll try to get everybody in if we can. How's the competitive aspect been with so many guys you know, fighting for? It's been good. Yeah, it's been good. I think, um, like you said, just having pretty much open tryout to see who you know, who fits with who and um, who plays well together and open competition has been great. When the guys competing, but also trying to help one another get better. What challenges does that give you, Ty? Because obviously it's different than you know, what we've had here the last several years. Um, not really a lot of challenges. Just trying to see who who fits well together. I think that's the biggest challenge. Not. Um, so much as the competitive nature of the guys. I think just trying to figure out, you know, who fits who, who plays well together, and kind of go from there. What struck you so far about Sam Decker? Um, athleticism, I think speed, I think being able to guard multiple positions, um, but also his basketball IQ is pretty smart, picks things up quick, and he's a good passer. So, um, you know, he's, he's impressed me. I know it's just a preseason game, but can you tell Colin is anxious to start? Start playing? Sexton? I mean, uh, start the game. Yeah, know? yeah. He's I, mean, I know it doesn't mean anything. Oh, he's always ready to play. <laughs> I mean, he's just he's eager to play. He's eager to get on the floor. So, um, very excited. So, you get a chance tonight to start, you know. So, um, it'll be good for him. Like sometimes a guy doesn't get an opportunity. I think about Sam here. You know, in, in Houston with the Clippers, it maybe just wasn't quite there. And then you see a guy get a shot and takes advantage of it. Do you think he's one of those guys that might oh. be able to do that? Yeah, I think so. And I forgot to say, David Nawab is going to be out tonight, too. Oh. He kind of tweaked his growing a little bit. So um, he'll be out tonight as well. But, um, yeah, I mean, I talked to um, Mike D'Antoni about him. You know, the coaches um, retreat in Chicago. And he liked him a lot. You know, he played a little bit and he got hurt. And then he went to the Clippers. He didn't play as much. But um, he liked him. And, um, you know, just being around him, just seeing his basketball IQ, um, his athleticism, his versatility, um, he's a pretty good player. So I'm excited. Having Channing around, is it back to the old fun? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Channing to Channing. Just, you know, happy to be at work every single day, happy to be around the guys. Um, when you see a veteran come in to work every single day, excited about it. You know, that breeds into the young guys, and they can see that. They can feel it. Can you tell that Kevin's glad to have him back? Yeah, you can tell that as well, you know, so. Those guys um, are like a comedy. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be crazy, but it's good to have him back. Yeah. What do you envision for a little from Kevin? Um, kind of like James Jones. I think when James Jones, you know, whenever you put him in the game, he was ready to play. I think now just Channing, being here helping the younger guys, helping him understand you know, what we've done here over the last four years and the culture we try to build here. And um, he's been good with that. So just talking to the young guys, teaching the young guys. You can see he's always pulling the guys to the side, just trying to you know, help them out as much as possible. So, um, but, you know, we put him in the game. I know he's going to be ready to play.